First, with nitric acid, we took copper metal and we ionized it into copper two ions. The deadly brown gas nitrogen dioxide was formed. With addition of sodium hydroxide, we formed copper hydroxide, a solid. After heating, we were left with water and copper oxide. We then added in sulfuric acid and we had a copper sulfate solution. Finally, with the addition of zinc metal, we were able to reduce our copper two ion back into copper metal. This is Rosie, and her blood is blue. But Professor, blood is red, not blue. We have a protein in our blood known as hemoglobin. It contains an iron two ion which can reversibly bond with oxygen, effectively transporting oxygen. It's that iron two ion that gives our blood its red color. Now, Rosie has a molecule in her blood with a function very similar, hemocyanin. It does not have an iron two ion in it. Instead, it contains two copper two ions, which as we've seen in our video today, are a beautiful blue color. This was Chemistry in Context, and until next time, stay safe. Next time on Chemistry in Context.